Slow start will not be tolerated for Maus here. They want to come in swinging. So a couple of dual Barrett is split between Exertion and Brolin. And Jimmy challenging for yard control. Phase, they've got one smoke to try and get a cross out in the yard, but they've managed it so far. Dry getting all the way across to behind red, and now they're going to use that smoke, trying to get past Jimmy, but that's easier said than done. They pay the price. Carrigan falls in amidst the attempt to get down secret, and now Roland's already down there. Dor Barrett is dinked up right away. Frozen oh threads the needle out through ramp, and Brokey opens up down at lower. These have been the two front runners for FaZe all tournament long, and they start the pistol round strong. FaZe change this one on the fly. What looked like a lower take ends in the top site, and Mauser left scratching their heads. An absolute circus of a round for FaZe. They are everywhere and nowhere. They are finding the gaps. They are flying up the vent. What a kill for Rops. And this one should be undoable. Jimpat does take one, but they're layered, lined up, ready to go. And it's Mouse on the chopping block. FaZe forced that pistol. And so no strong early start for Mouse. I want to see if this team forced by right, because FaZe are so good at these conversions. They have been rock solid here in Chengdu with converting these second rounds if they win pistol. But this is also a very good map to force on on that CT side. Put everything you've got in. Play those close range SMGs. Certainly an option here for Mouse. So let's see what they've got. Scout Don's on exertion. He's not going to get found out here in the yard. These smokes are a fake, and he won't get that info. Instead, FaZe set their sights in towards the top site by the looks of things with this util getting lined up. On T Roof. Good nade to find damage to Brolin, and right now FaZe are waiting to see if any aggression comes out from the Mouse Camp. And that doesn't happen. They lob in a top site exec, but that is just to hide the true nature of this round they go into an empty ramp and now they're down in b it's just brolin here now start to scramble rotates moving more players down towards lower but brolin has got to hold the line and with nothing found this one could quickly fall apart for maus the attempt at the force by and they will not stick to the landing it's phase clan with all the glory here a clean 2-0 lead taken Mal's at least make the most of this, right? Saving all their guns is very valuable. They get to give this another go. And FaZe are running away because of that huge bomb radius on Nuke. They've got to get all the way back to spawn for these two players to survive. So that will be allowed for now. Jimpat, even if he gets his kills, it's far from an upgrade. FaZe make it to spawn. They make it with five alive. Jimpad even dies to that bomb in lobby. Full health, my god. No rest for the wicked here. FaZe come in focused into their map pick. Yeah, losing, uh... Losing Jimmy's gun is a bit frustrating if you're Maus. Instead, Exertion just going to try and land a couple of pot shots through the smokes outside. FaZe run them again and get all the way down through Secret. Pace. Even that nade doesn't help Maus too much, right? It blows the smoke open. They never see anyone cross, and so they don't really know what's happened with these smokes out in the yard. Could even be misinfo. Brokey is late with the bomb, and so if he wants to rejoin the rest of his team, he's going to have to cross this dry. 
Mays just realized that they have so much control at lower. They may as well bring everyone in and just swing those doors together. Great cover for Frozen. And even with that kill, Mouse have no info. It gets worse. Smoke at lockers. As far as Zershan's aware, they could be wrapping him outside towards Hell, so he has to reinforce top. Bow's clear lobby, it's starting to dawn upon them. The doors swing down below, and FaZe, once again, just guaranteed the round in the 5-on-4. Mao's have nothing to do but look for damage. Could justify armor saves, otherwise this player should be bodyguarding or looking for kills. Rob's has got to be careful. There's an AK on offer here. He'll give it up. You will take that if you're Mao's. The big gun taken out of the round. The best thing that FaZe had here. Given over to the CT ranks and Shui goes running off with it. They will lose a couple of these saves, but regardless, you get out with the AK. That's a job well done. You'll take that. Ooh. Oh, actually, I say that. I say oh. they get out with the AK. FaZe were looking to try and throw their hat in or remove it. They don't want to give everything over two Maus in round number three. Mouse do a good job of making that one expensive. But this is where it cannot be another slow start for this Mouse squad, right? It took them far too long to be competitive on overpass, and that hurt them in the long run. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can pull the comeback, right? You just don't have the room for error 11-4 down. And there were a couple of pop rounds for FaZe where they just got the double entry on overpass, and they ended the game off of that. Whereas Mouse consistently across the CT side were showing really strong setups. So they need to start soon. They need to start now build into this game. FaZe's money is absolutely fine. So multiple wins in a row is the goal here. Niles come in with that aggression, that lobby take, that old familiar feeling. FaZe cannot get too comfortable on this default. Frozen's even come down the ladder, so they're right where FaZe want them. But all eyes are on the door, on the hut. FaZe is just playing for Maus to make a move, but the timing is awkward. Walking back in, Frozen will still convert that kill. Roland looking too deep, and Shui needs something, or this round once again will fall by the wayside. Jimmy at least holds on over at ramp, and now Shui with aggression. It's well-timed, it's well-founded, and Frozen's knocked out. Pressure's not over yet for Maus, as Shui's got to back off. He can't play for the lobby anymore. Jimmy wanted to rotate down lower, but that would leave him too far apart from his captain. And so as he goes oh. creeping back into the crosshair of Rops, that might be the kill that gives this round away. What a position. He had to make a move. He had to get activated. Phase a patient, knowing the fights will come to them. And that's a rough way for this to open for Maus. That is a, a kind of signature Maus round there. Aggression in the mid round, called through, but considered and held and then dealt with by Phase Clan. It's an early gut punch to this Mao's roster. That rain is just so formidable in the yard. This is one of the my, my favorite positions to watch this guy play on T-sides. Can just do it with no smokes. Sometimes FaZe will throw him a wall. But he's just going to be looking for aim jewels every single round. The experienced player. The firepower piece. And Maus are going to have to stop that with the AWP. Torshi's come through with his. A vast investment for Maus. They've got SMGs, pistols, and the AWP. Anything to get them in this game right now. Believing in Torshi. And they have to. But he needs the results. And FaZe will give him nothing. Just flashes outside. Rain playing this nice and passive. And once again, FaZe relying on this lobby hold to net them something. A lot of pressure put on upper. And range is playing to contain. Probably don't expect this AWP in a round like this. So can Torshi catch them by surprise? He's just fired off. So there's some knowledge as he drops in backside. He's looking to aggress hut instead. Just as FaZe go for a late yard take. Couldn't be worse timing for Torshi. So out of control in this round. It's down to a pistol on B. Zersh can play the block. But FaZe will end up just crawling down. Oh, even a smoke spam onto Brolin. Exertion trying to play oh, the pixel oh. angle. 
We'll get out with Huge. a reply at least. That dink looked like it was going to be disaster for Mowers, but now he's on to the rifle. Now he's retrieved an AK and he sent FaZe away from lower. So the old man drop now sends FaZe Clan into the top site, and that's where Torshi resides in the heart. He's here play. to help him. Exertion deals with rain climbing up into heaven. Frozen tries to blitz away into the site, but it's this orb on the line. Torshi oh. had to hit that. Frozen's quick. And now you have two phenomenal clutch players here for FaZe Clan left up in it in the 2v2. Jimmy and Exertion go, go in, oh. churned up, and Jimmy's finished off. Rops holds the line and keeps it flawless for FaZe Clan. Heartbreak for Maus, they thought they'd done enough when they see that they're rerouting FaZe into that orb, into the crossfire. They I deal with rain wrapping heaven. It felt like that was your round. I mean, how does Torchy even get to play there? He gets destroyed by Frozen. Barely even sees him on his screen in a two on four. FaZe turn it on its head. Frozen and Robs back again and against their former organization. It's got to feel good. Old beats new. And FaZe continue to build. Beautiful shot for Rain. Assertion is pushed out by the Molotov. Can't even play secret this time. That just gives FaZe the path to be if they want. Rops is in the upper side for crying out loud. FaZe are just playing on feeling right now. Rops can hold on as long as he wants. Roland can check it, but he doesn't know for sure. And Rops has got the information. Sees that door smoke coming. It will do nothing. He's already ahead of it. Molly is perfect on this A split. Oh, Frozen. Not missing a beat right now, is he? And this is what we're saying on Overpass. Everyone is online. Everyone is hot to trot on phase. And even if Mal's fire back, it's consolation frags. It's exits. Phase find the impact. This is a monstrous T side. And Mouse may have bitten off more than they can chew. Yeah, six straight for FaZe Clan to open. And that's with the last round coming down to a, a tense moment there up against the low by clutch. This one is far cleaner from FaZe. I mean, out of six rounds played, Mal's have saved guns in four of them. That's how out they've been. Just not had their foot in the door. And the thing, yeah, I mean, that's what hurts so much about this for Mal's, you know, this hasn't even been close and it feels like they they got put off straight away they tried to go for like a a classic shoey call a classic mouse round and it was immediately punished and so now things are getting a bit more rigid phase are starting to flow they're also pay, uh, playing a, a pretty slow pace right now a phase clan right it, it's not this super Whenever we cast phase, we always say they're a very entertaining team. It's very exhilarating watching a phase game because they are they, they love throwing themselves into gunfights. They like playing with the aggression and the timings and the chances of Counter-Strike. But this is very composed. Yeah. And so Mao's a team that do like to get aggressive. And you think this would be some explosive brawl. It, it's not. That's not the case. Phase aren't playing Mao's game. No, not by a long margin. Default a bit punishing. Rain has been... Perfection outside. This round is no exception. Torshi needed in Molly. He does have a good position though. Oh, he tries to walk through the Molly for the kill. He is flustered. He is feeling the burn. He will get out. But that just screams to where Miles are right now. Rain's not even pushing outside, and the pressure of his position is paramount. Orp is here finally with a chance to fire off. And he lends a helping hand. This has got all the makings of a round for Maus to finally get themselves up on the board. And it's the ramp side that holds on. It's the ramp that gives Maus a little bit of faith here. And now Exertion gets involved with Shuey nice. withstanding that hit to close. Double up in the door. And round shut down. It takes them seven rounds, but they finally get on the board on this CT side. And a clean one as well. But your AWP is in the right place. 
Zershin trades out outside. And this might be a better head-to-head -to, -head to just have Zershin deal with Rain right now on a rifle. Rain's util is very, very strong. And Five Alive keeps money in good standing for Mal's, means that they can afford to take an L. Phase immediately timeout. They don't want to make the mistake they did on overpass. Letting Mauser back in the game, even if it was late. It wasn't too late. Maus had a shot. FaZe want to feel like there is only one team destined to take that trophy. And with every accolade that comes with it. Gunning for more gold bars. Brolin burns out. He's been having a rough time on this top side. Face having been rushing. Rops finally will. He just runs through the smoke. Oh. It's a perfect flank though. Jimpat right behind takes one. They don't need to turn around. They're moving forward with more and more entry kills. This top side falls. Torshi cannot connect. They are hunting him down right now from the outside. Jimpat's in the hut. That plant. Does he wallbang? Oh. No. Dead as a doorknob. Frozen slams it shut and phased an explosive delayed upper hit. Yeah, that's a move away from the, the, the slower pace of this uh, phased T side, right? And it works wonders for them. Mouse just weren't ready for the aggression. They weren't ready for Ops to make a move like that. Nothing's happened in this game so far to telegraph that that was even a, a chance. That's why the pause comes in as well. They want to make sure that's perfect, right? Everyone knows their role. Oh, Getting oh saved, Brokey removes the AWP. And he won't even take it, so that just screams to the game that FaZe are playing. Brokey wasn't even you know, worried about orping on CT side overpass either. He was fine playing the rifle when FaZe had the money. Brokey has certainly been in MVP form. It's probably the best look. Frozen's had a phenomenal tournament, a second rated yeah. for FaZe as well. He was the group stage dominator. But Brokey in the playoffs always performs. Yeah, I mean, if you want to look at how FaZe even got to this point, I think so much of it comes down to Brokey's form. The moment they got onto the stage, Brokey came alive. A liquid match, I mean, yeah. Pressure into the lobby, Maus. Don't want to sit back anymore. They're going to try and take some ownership oh. here, and it's a clean opening. Jimmy has been a, the, the one guy trying to really carve a path for Maus here. The one attempt that FaZe threw in over towards his side of the map. Oh, not again. The round that Maus were able to walk away with. And it's looking like there's no exception to that rule. Another double up from Jimmy on the lobby push. Despite the misses from Torshi, FaZe still sitting a 3v5. Jimmy makes it happen. We say he makes Ramp look like a star position. Somehow. But you can't push every round. You can't push all the time. So Maus will have to set settle back now in this 5 on 3. A round they require. FaZe are going to make them work for it. All eyes in the right positions. They need a molly behind the vent here. They have it available. Brolin's been in this spot time after time. Oh, what a clear. Oh, that is a very clean opening out of rain. Brolin is currently 0-7. Hasn't found his footing in this game at all yet. He's going to get mollied out once more. And this has happened every time he's tried to hold on from the vents. 3v5, Torshi. swinging back the other way. Torshi's got to be the difference maker. Oh. He's got to be the man. Gets them off the bomb. Torshi withstands it. And has he just saved Maus right there? That 3v5 was slipping through their fingers. But Torshi is able to be the difference maker. He's in the right place. He finally takes those kills. He finally wins that round. Almost lets that a top hot player skirt on by. But bomb denial. Torshi takes two and Maus do the same. We needed that. It couldn't afford to be another Maus game where Torshi goes quiet. It wouldn't have been a game for Maus. They need this guy. And so while FaZe still sit with a commanding lead, a commanding T side, they use two timeouts themselves. Just trying to break the momentum every time Maus are on the board. 
phase one perfection. And that third man in the sight uproots it entirely. We saw Maus take down G2 on this map. The, the, the two real standout players for Maus were Jimpa and Torshi. Torshi then went on to say in interviews how much he loves Nu. Oh. And so he is needed to step up. And while he's had some misses early on, it feels like he's finally found that footing now. Exertion. Won't live to tell the tale out in the yard. Brokey with that trade opens up the route through secret. Reposition for Torshi Zorp, finds him in back of garage. He hears these footsteps. He knows that FaZe are taking the space, so it's that second man. Jim Pat down here inside of B. He might be the one put to the test. And thus far, he's been good for it every single time. Very rough position for FaZe to clear, and even a trade-out kill is going to put Maus in. Perfect standing to win this round. Karrion's late lobby lurk starting to move in. As Mal's reboost for the heaven. Reinforce that top sight. It's all Jimmy. He's just got a kill on a plate. Can he take it? He needs it. Sleeping at the wheel. Oh. Brokey turns this round again. Carrigan making noise in the lobby. Just here to cut those rotates, giving FaZe the time to plant and set up. And we said on overpass, they don't lose these rounds. Tandem. Phase poised for the throat. Carrigan fake steps on ramps only to stop them rotating down. Good timing. And Mal's know even if they drop B in the back of their mind, Carrigan will be flanking. He's not had any kills in the round yet, but the pressure he's put on has been phenomenal. It's let FaZe get set up down here in B. And so now Maus have to break apart a very tricky oh. post plant. Brokey continues that good form. And now he spots the AWP back in the single door. Torshi can't win this. They know where he is. And that AWP tries oh. to run away, but you can't escape. Frozen and Brokey, the terrifying duo of FaZe Clan. A round that felt as good as Maus's. Stolen away. Frozen has just been in every one of these unbelievable clutch up rounds for FaZe. Three on five down on B with a clear on Jimpat. Frozen goes to deny the AWP save. He is not here in China for a second place again. That's why he donned the FaZe jersey. And right now he is doing right by it. Rops getting rushed. It doesn't matter. FaZe give up the gun. They gain something else. Control outside. Undeniable. Down B. Exertion can't even block. He's got to fight for this. Got a teammate there to back him up in Brolin. Nice. But Brolin still yet to post the kill in this game. Maybe not the, the safe pair of hands you want backing you up. Phase even up and leave. They make a lot of noise. A lot of this game has just been pressuring and nervous. A twitchy Maus team. They're going to retake lobby. This will take a lot of time for Phase. So they need these kills in this position. Torshi is holding on for it. And Phase are saying, if you want to go for info, Maus, you're going to lose it. The fact that Maus are still even holding on to the lobby is, is crazy, considering how many footsteps exertion heard down towards lower. Rain's going to start playing first and secret as well. Gonna hunt this kill. That may scramble Maus entirely. There's the Molotov. Brolin, can he break the silence? Get on the board. Rain's got the spot. Brolin's got the shot. And now they see the terrible truth. The bomb in the lobby. Jim Pat fights for one more. Another clutch up round for FaZe. Might finally be denied as Frozen iced out on 30 health with no time and a smoke in the way. Finally here to concede. Maus breathe a sigh of relief and akin to overpass just try and search for scraps at the end of the half yeah the best they can manage is exactly where they found themselves on that previous map right four at the end of the half that's what Maus are hoping for here but i have to say that round by all measures i think is very well played from the Maus camp i think it would have been so easy to over rotate to react too heavily on the back of the contact down at b Maybe not as nervous as we think. As they stick to their guns and maintain that double lobby control, you could see how unprepared FaZe were for a second player swinging them through the single door, through the squeaky door, rather. It's a force buy up into the last of the half here. Will it be four again for Maus, 
Or is it slightly better for FaZe this time around? Frozen is the guy with the golden gun and the one who's got to make it happen. May not be twists, but he's trying to pull a play we've seen before. A little delayed on this main drop. Is this phase just pouncing for an A split early? Well, she looks up, perfect clear. Maybe the shadow gives it away, and in the blink of an eye, phase evaporate in front of them. Jimpa holding on, and Mouse again make four happen at the end of the half. And it's going to be a huge road to recovery against one of the best new teams in the world. take a long time to warm into this second map and it's that time to warm up that might cost them phase clan sporting a massive lead 8-4 moving on to the ct side of their map pick this is the best spot phase have been in in some time to lift the trophy and break that streak yeah it's right there on the tip of their tongue FaZe can almost taste it. But can Mal's make a meal out of this matchup? Everything says no. Mal's can keep believing, keep moving outside. Rain is here to meet them. He was a terror at the start of the T half. In this very position, Caravan caught in the open. Rain needs heads, he takes two. And Mal's get further, but Rain knows about it. He doesn't have to overcommit. Phase sit favored, just trying to trade crossfires. Rain's dink down, forced into that B site, but Rops finds a head as well. This is not done for Phase. Despite four on two, they have very low health. And Brolin's starting to wake up in this game. About time. Phase just crunch him together. More damage done. And really, we're relying on Frozen to uproot his former team with those dual Berettas. Yeah, that double push, that, that attempt to deal with Brolin was the play that kind of feels like it could have made or broken the round for FaZe. As you say, now there's only one guy who can withstand a gunfight here. Frozen, top of the board admittedly, but it's not going to be easy for him. Dual Berettas locked and loaded, back of the hut, swinging out, he's been spotted. Now he's in a post plant. And two of these players are a shot from certain death. It is just Frozen. Oh. They run at him, oh. and those dual Berettas sing. Frozen wants this. He is hungry. And with the pistol round now picked up on Frozen's back, FaZe are pulled ever closer to getting their hands on the trophy in Chengdu. He felt like the best player to, to, to you know, join this team. He felt like the you know, perfect piece when FaZe lost twists. Experience with this core of Carrigan and Rops. Incredible. Just recently picking up trophies like Pro League at the end of CSGO. And Frozen was playing phenomenally well. He has kept that going. And even though FaZe have just been so close in all of these finals, 
finally it feels like they're ready to lift one. I mean, there were two players back on that Carrigan-led Mouse squad that he had a real affinity for, that he really saw potential in, and those those two players were ROPs, and they were frozen. Yeah. And so the moment that spot opened up, it, it was sort of fulfilling a, a promise made a long time ago, a long-standing agreement between them that Carrigan wanted to play with Frozen again. It took a year to get ROPs in that roster, but Frozen had to wait two more. Carrigan did right by him. And right now it's Frozen 15 and 5. Trying to return the favor. Yeah. Carrigan 1 and 10. But that doesn't matter if FaZe can get it over the line in a 2-0 fashion. I mean, Mirage has been the only map Mouse have actually managed to beat FaZe on on land. That was a CAC, not in the final. Not when it mattered. And right now it does for FaZe more than anyone. They are trying to make this clean and easy. Force by for Maus. First man down on the outside. Rain hits that perfect timing. And with that smoke wall and seeing Zertion on the main side, FaZe know that means it's an A hit. Maus grouping in the lobby, and they're getting pushed. Carrigan steps up with his second kill at an integral time. Rosen will get overran. Brolin oh. lines up a double. This round still has some legs on it for Maus as they try to scramble down the vent. That bomb is the last thing to make it down, and it will. Narrowly so. Rops, Rops already down here in position, and his attention is taken away from him. Him and Brokey strike together. Maus think they find the gap. They think they've seized the moment there, but they play right into FaZe's hands. It's got to feel devastating. Like you said, you feel like you made the perfect call. You've got a double entry upper and you still drop down B and there are two players there. But Carrigan hears every first step. He hears that first vent drop. And so even before the bomb is down the vent, FaZe are already dropping ramp side. What a perfect reaction from FaZe. Nuke has been their wheelhouse. And right now it's Mouse's heel. As FaZe look to make this a dominant affair. They couldn't close it from 11-4 clean on overpass. But this feels like a different beast right now for Maus to overcome. And you got a question, you know, with this squad having had issues in playoffs with them looking to, to have gotten over that at least to, to some degree across this event. It's a whole different beast to feel like you're right there. You're so close only to have it stripped away from you. And that's something that comes with the experience, right? Comes with time. Look at FaZe, they're oh. really no strangers to that end. They've oh. been in these positions before. They know what it takes to win these championship titles, these trophies. Oh, Brolin. Will this recovery continue? They drop in, that feeds Jimmy another on the Deagle. And with Rain dead, the Deegs are trying to break through. Where From nowhere. Rocks? Maus have crafted a round. It's down to Rocks to see if he can tear it all oh. away, and he can't. Jimpa and Brolin take a bow as they somehow maneuver that round in Maus's favor with just Eagles. That's FaZe getting ahead of themselves, right? Really just trying to take those fights indoor, thinking it's just pistols. What's the worst that can happen? Swinging P250s. But it's the Deegs at the back that deliver death. And Maus live to fight another round. They come in earlier to this half than anticipated. And that must be given the benefit of the doubt here for Maus now after what we saw on overpass. One round the better. And FaZe. It's Carrigan with the M4. 3 and 11. Sticking to his guns. Just trying to get himself back in the map. Elsewhere, it's pistols frozen on that MP9 top site. And Mal's look like they want this A execute into the stack. Yeah, everyone from FaZe is here. If you're Mal's and you get gifted around like that in the last, you don't want to fall down running into a stack top site on a low buy from FaZe. And so they quickly change their mind. Rops now the sole defender over at Ramp. Will they check for him? They try! Oh. One and done from Rops, but no he's way. done his part no down way. the vent. Rain deeks out exertion. 
now Carrigan arrives down at lower. No longer the only gun in the round, but certainly the most to do with it right now. Taking the attention away, keeping Mao's nervous, oh. keeping those hands trembling. Mao's can't get this bomb planted. Plays are moving in. Rain oh. from ramp tries to bring down the hammer. It's Brolin in the clutch. Makes it out to the double doors. This is a strong post plant position for Brolin. Doors Won't bite. open, but Brolin calls their bluff. Brolin does not believe. He's wasting the clock. He's wasting the time. Brolin started this game and was a non-factor, but this could be the clutch that keeps Maus in it. Reigns the one on the bomb. Carrigan oh. needs this, and he will get the kill. It's close as he's on that defuse. I think he's won it, Brolin. It's, it's real close. close. Oh, no. Just stolen away. The one gun, the hero rifle from the bottom fragger in the server, and Carrigan gets that closing kill. Brolin calls two fakes, and still FaZe win it with milliseconds. Destined to do it in two, despite an eco victory for Maus. The celebration is so short-lived. Yeah, that, that could be the round that stops it all for Maus. That is such a, a nail-biting round. Such a punishing round, and it comes from Carrigan, the guy who was three kills deep heading into it. Let's make it a cross out in the yard. Brolin picked up a Molotov kill, so they've got the man advantage to fall back on here. One of these has to go their way. They have to break through. But to do that, they've got to get past Robs. Oh. I'll just keep fighting, man. They are leaving nothing unsaid by the end of this game. Five on three. Shui's on his own, no trade potential here, no need. Blinder of a kill onto Rops down lower, and that should just force the save for FaZe. No consideration on this round. They've done it with one rifle, they can do it with two. So Mal's take a five alive round, trying to resurge. Yeah, the, the resilience of Mal's is impressive right now. The fact that they keep losing these horrible close-knit rounds and then is still able to offer something up in the next. It's just, FaZe is so close, and it's the same problem they had on Overpass. It is the exact same issue. Too to embark little. on this comeback, to try and complete it, you have to be flawless. And if you're not flawless, you have to be winning clutches. And thus far, FaZe have taken the edge in both of those, so... Maus, it's the beginning of a long journey, and a flawless round is not a bad way to open up. But they cannot set a foot wrong. It's not too little, but is it too late? It's a solid round for Maus, but reproducing it is the difficulty here. Face forcefully. And Miles go back to their default. Smokes outside. Vent. Covered. Face of two flash plays into the lobby at the same time. It does hit Robs. It's info. They take it fully. They lock Jimpat out. He knows it. So the rifles now need to rule outside here for FaZe. Just spamming this smoke, broke you will find nothing. One player already crossing garage. They have a lot of control. In terms of the early positioning, this is very good for Maus. They were not caught by the lobby aggro, and wherever they've conceded space, they've made up for it by taking elsewhere. And having so much control out in the yard is powerful. Especially with the chance to start wrapping players up into heaven and pressuring this top site. And that is where most of FaZe reside right now. Yeah. Communication is key here in where FaZe take and when. Karakan, that's a dastardly kill outside onto Torshi. 
A bomb loose in the garage, and Carrigan tries to hold on. He goes swinging a bridge too far on the crossfire. Mouse around the A site. Brolin up in heaven. They're going to bring that bomb in now. Reigns backstabbing. Broke. He's done the same, and Mouse are falling like flies. Somehow, some way, FaZe always find a way. And Shui, he knows it's too much. 20 seconds, two health, he's done. FaZe championship point. He's not had many kills in this game as Carrigan, but the calls have been fantastic. And the impact, whenever he does get a kill, it's always translating to a round win for FaZe Clan. And now he's trying to pump the crowd up because this is reaching its crescendo. FaZe are right there. After pulling back two low buys, denying Maus the route back in. They are just five kills away from what has felt like a long time coming. Another trophy in the cabinet of FaZe. Yeah. Recency bias says no, but history says yes. That is one full cabinet. FaZe, they have had that X Factor all game. The clutches, the 3v5s, the 2v4s. Nothing but deserved. Three on B right now. They make the read. And when have they read wrong? Mouse walking into the lion's den. Brokey awaits. They're caught in his jaws. He bites down. Rops takes another. Mouse, this might be the end of the road. Coming unraveled. And even as they deal with Brokey, there's so much more to break through if you want to get into this B site. Up the vent feels like a death sentence, so they might just have to battle forward unless Shuey can carve a path, give them a reason to believe. Spotted by the player at backside and swung on, it's frozen. Desperate. Tearing a title away from his old team. FaZe stand on the precipice of lifting the trophy in Chung Du, and with Brolin dead, than coming close and missing the gold. And that is a feeling that FaZe have felt four times over. But that changes today. Brokey with an MVP level performance across the tournament. The Latvia was lighting up the stage. And while Carrigan...